so this this is a um, sort of a joint venture uh, or sort of a collaboration, if you want to call it that, with Marlene's wig and chat studio. So Marlene and I go way back and we've been friends for a long time. Many of you know we've met in real life. She reviews wigs and she looks gorgeous in almost every single piece that she's ever put on. So we were chatting and we said, wouldn't it be kind of cool to, you know, take a look at some of the wigs we've had for a long time and, and kind of share the ones that have sort of withstood the test of time or tried and true. And so that's what this is going to be. I'm going to share with you those wigs that I've had for a long time that have stood up to the test of time. Stay tuned. So anyways, the first wig is obviously what I have on my head. I think this might have been the maybe the fourth wig that I ever bought. And I believe I got this on clearance at Wig Studio One years ago. This is John Minot's Kristen. I really like Kristen a lot. I have her in shaded pralines is the color. Over the course of time, I probably, you know, would have maybe picked a darker color today. But if you want to get some blonde on and you want a timeless style, then this is it. Now, let me just explain to you that this style probably has a lot more volume than you're used to because a lot of the newer wigs now are less or more sleek. But I happen to prefer some permities. I happen to prefer some texture and some height, especially around my face. So this is a, gosh, I, I'm going to do a slow turn for you so you can see. This is definitely a timeless piece, right? I mean, it's been, I've had this for years. It still looks great. It still looks stylish. It is held up amazingly well. I keep saying that I am going to thin her and I never do. What I have done is I have sprayed some sea salt spray, texturizing spray on her just to actually rough her up, right? Because I don't want that smooth, straight, in my face look. I don't. So that's what I've done. I think she is really pretty. Even though this is blonder now for me, although I have I have a few different wigs in this color, she is really pretty. I'm going to take her off, show you the cap, and then I'll show you my other timeless, true, tried and true. I think I have four of them I'm going to share with you. And as you can see, there's just a lace front. I mean, Kristen is just a basic cap, has some permatease here, a lace front, stretch, but a good amount of permatees that gives it height. And I've washed this. I have worn this in windy conditions. I've worn this in all conditions and I really like this. Now, I like this a lot better texturized with the sea salt spray than flat and straight. Not that this will ever be flat and totally straight because of the style, but this looks really nice. Now, this, this is a Henry Magoo and this is Farrah, and you can see the lace front, and you can see the monofilament cap. This is the type of cap I prefer. I prefer that lace front monofilament cap. Now, Farrah, when I first started wearing her, she was very shiny right out of the box. She was very shiny. I think the first few times I wore her, I had to spray her with some Batiste dry shampoo to take, to take down some of the shine. Now, I want to say that Farrah is at least maybe a year and a half to two years old. Henry Magoo Farrah. I'll list the color below because I don't remember it off the top of my head. The, Henry Magoo's lace front is and monofilament there I mean their caps rival in my opinion Raquel Welch as far as quality the lace front is usually beautiful the caps feel comfortable the monofilament is wonderful and this is another one of those stylish I believe you know stylish styles basically 
or timeless, right? I mean, I can push this up off my head like that. I can comb it down. I can, if I wanted to, I could have trimmed the bangs, but I prefer not to. So I really like this style. Casual, fun, looks great. I love it. Held up the test of time. Now I'll show you my next one. This is of course for Cal Welch. Shaded cappuccino. Beautiful cap. Some permatees. Beautiful exquisite lace front. Oh my gosh, this this is probably my all-time favorite. Now this is it is not a wig I'm gonna wear every day. There's a lot of hair here. This is just to me, this is a beautiful style. I, when I put this on and I play with it a little bit, I usually do some ear tucking. I've actually pulled this up and twisted it in the back so that it was more of an updo. But the point is that heat friendly fibers, shade of cappuccino, flirt, um, not flirt alert, editor's pick, Raquel Welch, exquisite lace front. And granted, I don't wear this every day, but I wish I'd. I wish I could, but you know, it, it's just a little bit too dressy for me for every day, at least for my job. But I love this, and I love the fact that you can pick her up, put her up in a little bun. You can you can do so much with this piece. So I do not have the Editor's Pick Elite. I wish I did. I would love to compare that to this one, but I have the one, this is the original but it doesn't matter because the lace front is beautiful the monofilament cap is beautiful the fibers are <laughs> oh my gosh they're fantastic i love the fibers so raquel welch editor's pick this one was sent to me gosh quite a while ago for review i just fell in love with it i just fell in love with it it is a beautiful beautiful style can you tell i love it and now i'll show you my next one this one is also a John Renault and has the basic cap. It does have a lace front. It's beautiful. It has some permatees. This is their very popular, very popular style. It's called Ignite. This is probably one of the styles that was on my wish list forever. And I actually bought this, I think, off of a wig sister who was selling it. And I love it. So this is John Minot's Ignite. This is in shaded praline. And I think what I loved about it, I, I gravitate towards more of the shorter styles, but not the real short styles, you know. I like to have some hair around my head, maybe a little bit on my neck. But I love the way this wig, the cut. Now I have one very similar. I have, I do have Spice Girl. I'm gonna sell her. I really like Spice Girl. I have her in Honey Chai Latte. But she's just a little bit flatter than I like. I'll show, I'll put you, I'll put it on just so you can see. But this is John Migno Ignite. I'll do another spin. So you can see the back, you can see the sides. This has gone camping with me. Usually when we take off and we go camping and I'm packing a wig, this goes with me because it's a tried and true. It's held up to the wind, it's held up to ocean breezes, and it just always looks really good. And it looks natural. It doesn't look like, you know, like if I wore my, my um, editor's pick, right, camping, all those curls, it would not look as natural. But this is Ignite. And this is Beltra Spice Girl. Now this is in Honey Chai Latte, right? Yet it looks lighter in me, to me than my Shaded Pralines, uh, Shaded Praline that I have from John Renault. It is very much the same, the same type of a cut. I've done no styling to this. You could texturize this up nicely, I'm sure. But I think I'm just going to sell her. I don't grab her. I grab the other one all the time. And the fibers are beautiful. Not as high fiber as my Ignite. The blend is beautiful. The cap is beautiful. So if you want this one, let me know. But it Beltra Spice Girl. The cap is beautiful. 
the cap is nicer. The Permatease is a lot lower. It's nicer than the one on Magnite. I like the fact that you have a part, but I just, I like the color blend better for me and the style better for me. On okay, so that was it. Sharing with you some of my tried and true, some of the wigs that I love to wear over and over again that you've seen on my channel many a times, including this one, which is Upstage. And the only reason why she didn't go in the four, you know, number four that I did or five that I did on tried and true is because I have been liking the lower volume better. Um, and I feel, I think Upstage has a higher volume. So for my everyday kind of different looks, um, Upstage is beautiful, but I don't grab her to go out to dinner. Let's put it that way. But I do love her. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment below. Which one did you think was the best on me? And of course, if you haven't checked out Marlene's video, go check out her video. If you're from Marlene's channel joining me here, thank you so much. Consider subscribing. I do talk about wigs. I do talk about lifestyle. I do talk about skincare and makeup. So my channel is a little bit of everything. But I love, love having you guys join me. Thank you all so much. Bye-bye.